Well, great lineup today. The women enter the fold here on the glass court. A lot of the big guns featuring again. Alexandra Fuller up against Nora Gohar first up. So the best that uh, Gohar's done was in 2016, where she got to the semi-finals. That was her first Five time she, of playing at the tournament champions. Since then, she'd be disappointed with three quarter-finals. Tough ask this for Fuller. She's she's improved so much recently. She's done really well. Had a good result against Whitlock in the World Champs. Um, as I said, that last tournament before Nine, everyone three. had the break. Well, this is rattling away from her here, though, the first game. Of course, bases herself in Ireland. Yeah, good shot. Those last Five couple of rallies points. will be really good for Fuller. Any threat or the big threat, I guess, that's Gohar. I think if she opens the court up like that with the cross court straight away off the return of serve, she's going to be in trouble. Well, it's the first game for the Terminator. Looks like she's not had any time off. I think playing straight is a very good ploy because it, it stops those angles for her to feed off. I just um, said it in a very bad way. <laughs> it's usually my job. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. She's dealing with such pace that either her swing has to be shorter or her follow through longer, perhaps, to get the ball to the front wall. Yeah, you're right. She's trying to do the right things. Definitely breaking it all up here. There it is, the backhand boast. I was just brought back to the semi final. I mean, that is perfect, and that is what you need to repeat over and over again. Unfortunately, it's really difficult to hear. Good luck trying that if you're playing Gohar over and over again. I tell you what, she's been really dangerous off the return of serve. Yeah. Alexandra Fuller needs to make sure she gets these serves into good positions. I mean, that wasn't bad, but she needs to just mix it up a bit more, I think. And out, 3-2. I mean, it's clear to see that there's been technical improvements made to yeah. Gohar's game. But I guess, you know where she had her knee problem? Out, couldn't really do anything in terms of physicality and stuff. She probably was thinking about the game, studying it and... Obviously, she holds it far down. You're going to get more power that way. Oof. Um, but uh, there's a, she, she goes up quite high on, the, high on the grip position on the forehand. Six match balls for Gohar. Well, there you go. That's closed out really well by Noran Gohar. The Terminator has terminated the challenge of Alexandra Fuller, who now can't get off the court either. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. You just want to get off that court. Flipping door won't open. 19 minutes. Business as usual for the Terminator. Three love win.
quite nice solid technique on this uh, young chap. Very different to the kind of unique style that we see in Borja Golan. One. Well, he looks, he looks rock solid, uh, this young... He was there warming up behind the court quite early for Gawad. Yeah, he's definitely in sleep mode. And this is a very busy beat. Very, very busy beat. Very determined Spaniard. 7-1. Well, the crowd just seem a little bit stunned as to what they're witnessing here at the moment. Well, what they're witnessing is a very hungry, busy Spaniard taking on what looks like a quite sleepy Garfield. This could be a stroke. Yeah, it's a stroke. Stroke to Benabo. It's a good decision. It's not a great shot either. No, it's a good decision by the ref there. He's just ba basically yeah, dodged it up onto the front wall. Sense a stroke. to Benabo, decision of town. Not up. Well, there's rules. Got us skipping the step of. I completely, I completely agree with you as well. I mean, it, it's, so we use the word bamboozle, but maybe there's more to the baby face the assassin than meets the eye. He's against Pajares, and he'll do exactly the same thing against El Shabagi. There's, there's no, no change in his kind of approach. It's just outrageous. I mean, it's unplayable, it's perfect squash. 10-1. I think he'd be the only one that could confuse Gawad. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh. Took about a game of two halves. Well, they must have had a put. There's been a massive improvement here in the last month or two from Paharas. I've started to see him a little bit more on Squash TV. And he's certainly working on that side of his game, which is needed. It's good and squeeze. That's just too good. I mean, that's just a great shot. But Pajares was trying to get back one. into that one game second game, but it's all level. Oh, that is outrageous. Talk about a taste of his own medicine. Abdo Gawad is known for his backhand drop, the long backhand drop from the back of the court. Slightly over here on the cross. Oh, it's the old... Not quite sure what Three that was, but love. here comes the long drop. That's, that's it's really tiny work. impressive. Stuff. There's no real psychological damage, so they can just get stuck in without any kind of fear. Oh. That's ridiculous. That's quality. <laughs> oh, that was superb. That was like the old, the old-fashioned short game PJ, which I love <laughs> to play. <laughs> and out two six. Scurrying around. Well, he's got up very well. Crowd are absolutely going to go nuts for this, PJ. I'll tell you what I like about this any second now. Oh, my word. Oh, well it. played! I'll tell you what I like about that. Muchas gracias. Had, had he have stopped to ask for a let ball, I don't think they would have given him a let. No, he this dives is it. If he'd have stopped Gets and asked it. for a let, he would have given a no let. He's gone through, played the interference, and then he's given Gawad a taste of his own. He has. It's brilliant. He's got there. He's played the ball. He's not been done any funny business oh, with his body. Brilliant. then. Gawad's on the floor. He'll be there for a while, I reckon. What a massive, massive opportunity here for Pajaras. 2-1 up. Potential game ball. <laughs> He's covered it well. He's under pressure. It's a little bit of a little bit of a movement here. Right. Just watch the movement. See, I'd love to see that again, Joey. <laughs> here we go, Peach. Each See a slight shift and shimmy into the line. 
First game ball opportunity for Gouad. Will he convert? He's got to be careful with those cross courts. Oh, he's whammed it in the tin. He smacked it in the tin. He had such a good position there. He hasn't really put a foot wrong at all in this match. The Spaniard, look at the motivation for Gouad. You can never say that he's not giving 120% <laughs> from a coach's point of view. He's the perfect kind of pupil with his attitude. He's obviously listening and developing his game, but it's the fact that he's always throwing himself. He won't go away. He won't go away. He's, he's well within a shout here, Pajares. Takes an error or two from Gawad. That's inch perfect again. I mean, the weight of shot here. Ball just fading, drifting away from Pajares. Second bounce into the back of the court. Pretty close to the nick. 100%. He'll certainly be logging this Spaniard. If he converts this in four games, he'll know when it come up against him again that he's a very difficult customer and a very much improving player. Again, he's just struggling to read that front right-hand corner. Yeah, the legs are gone. The legs are six, feeling it. Ball. Four match balls for the very casual baby-faced assassin who's had to be put on his metal. Oh, yeah. brilliant. I mean, the legs, the legs are gone. It's a, it's a wonderful game. It's a very, very, very good game of squash. Hugely impressive from the Spaniard. He's at his current highest world ranking of 31 in the world. He's just giving Gawad a torrid time out there. Very impressed with his improvement. But it's Gawad that converts in four games to book his place into the third round. Really fascinated to see how El Labri deals with the Panther, who does start off tournaments very solidly. Tough draw for her. Tough draw for Serum. Particularly right when you're inside. The glare of the blue line, perhaps. Oh, that's very slick. She's very, very feisty. Don't be Five, fooled six. by her demeanor. Pressure from Kamisa. Oh my goodness me, that was well played. Command in the middle of the court there, Ashling. Strong on the volley as usual. Eight, five. Oh. I mean, look at this. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Kick. She's under so wow. much pressure and she's fighting away. This is tremendous from the Egyptian. I mean, the pace is furious being set by the Panther. She's hanging on though. Oh, oh she's my got her. Goodness. She's got her. That was hard physically. So terrific first game from both ladies. Really high quality. Ooh, what a start. What a start. Uh, one love. If there's the slightest doubt, there's something about Cherbini, but it's not quite a Cherbini. But there's something about that. There's like a hustle, there's a hustle, and then it's there, and she's I, absolutely I completely agree on with it. this. Yeah, I agree. She, she's running around, getting balls back. She gets an. Sorry, just making it. Saying what you're saying, but just shot <laughs> twice. <laughs> Nicely done. Well, she deserves this first and second game. Yeah, she does. I mean, when you think about Nine, it, one. Ashling the... 3-10, game ball. Wow. 
11-3, going to Alarabi. One game off. Oh, she deserves this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wowzers. I mean, it's like... This is right. I mean, it's not like she's just... I mean, it's the full rotation. Oh. Yeah. Just spotting a few areas that Camille Soam should look high up on the backhand volley. There's a bit of a weakness there for El El Arabi. If you take it quite high above her shoulder, she struggles to get any type of power. Good physical squash. Good look back at her entourage there. Ten five game ball. Very very powerful move. Oh! oh. <laughs> C'est parfait! Oh, yes! Excellent! From Le Panthea. She's got a lot of outward emotion and she does yep. shout, come on a lot. Yeah, I mean, she's. It's a pr there's, a there's a lot of personality there. Yep. There's a lot to, uh, as I say, commercial wise, there's a lot as well with her. So, so it's. Uh, yep. Four, three. Oh, God, my words got, got out here courtside to start dealing with the stylist side of things. It could help everyone, actually. What do you think? Um, just, a, just a thought. Just a thought, yeah. Oh, it's, a, it's a thought. Just like your market characters in most sports now. Well, I think the ladies have an individual style all of their own, which is they don't need much help. These two. No, I'm not saying they don't need much help, but it's just nice to put it into... As the nicknames develop, you see with a lot of the men... No, she's not. <laughs> and out, ten, nine. Game this off. is brilliant. Wow. I mean, when you've resorted to the mega splits from La Panta trying to get that ball back, I mean, this is unbelievable entertainment. I mean, it's the ladies have been brought onto the glass today, and it's this. I know there was one match. This is the second ladies' match, and it's awesome. Did have a lot of five setters yesterday, oh, the men's, she's and she's made the error. And this is nervous times. This young lady from Egypt is causing serious problems for Camille Sir. If you want an answer, I'm going to say, going to go for age over youth. I'm going to say Serm is going to take the fifth game. Is that truly what you feel or are you just being pol political? No, it's what I feel in this moment. But that could change. That's that backhand volley drop. He set down. So, when you mean age, you're talking about experience, aren't you? I am. There's also a good... Sean Mazzarella in there, which uh, he's... It's Yoda-like qualities. Oh, my goodness. That is... It's got to be pinned. That's got to be clipped. You can hear me, Dan Dobby. You're wearing earphones. You got to clip that one because that is a shot and a half. To play this from there, and the, what I love about that is decent serve. Oh. 
amazing. How important was that backhand volley drop shot? She slightly misjudged the movement, Ashling. And out, 9-7. the error a terrific terrific performance by this young Egyptian wonderful performance she shows the level that she's capable of she's already beaten some big-time players but that was a wonderful match contrasting styles brilliant demeanors on court feisty feisty play from elaborate but it was the experience and the tenacity of Camille um, who is still so hungry to achieve on the PSA World Tour. Belter of a match for the women in round two. 60 minutes in duration, and it was from the entirety entertaining from the first serve. Sitting up. Love and Julie punished by Wilstrup. And out 6 1. So the first time James Wilstrup featured here at Solomon Champions was in 2003, TJ. <laughs> Guess how many he's missed? 8 1. In th How many years is that? <laughs> it's quite a few just, years. Uh, Thinning him, isn't he? Yeah, he's just hitting the ball into the corners ball. that really is reducing Lobben to kind of, by his standards, quite mediocre squash. Well, there you go. He's handed the back end of that game to Will Schrupp. Schrupp. That was all One down to, to the pressure being exerted by the Englishman. As well as being a full time father. Yep. That is oh a great my shot. goodness gracious me. The severity what? of the, the <laughs> angle of attack. Watch this. High preparation for Wilstrop. And out for What two. a shot. That's ridiculous. I mean that From the back. Oh, he's rolled it. I think the referee thought that was down initially. That's very impressive if Wilstrop's got that. It shows there's still a lot of pace in the marksman. You know what the frustrating thing will be? If Wilstrop wins the point, it'll be reviewed. He's not going to win the point. Lovern finishes off in the end. It took a long time for him to do so. Very impressive rally. There's not a lot in it on the old heart rates. 175 for James Wilstrop. Greg Lovern dropping down to 168. Stroke to Wilstrop. He's got the stroke. We're going to see a review. Lobin on the stroke decision. The court slightly, but it's so bad, the shot, that it's coming right past Lobin there. A little sneak glimpse, but it is a stroke. stroke to Wilstrup, decision upheld. 11-9, game to Wilstrup. Wilstrup leads two games to Love. Yeah. Doesn't actually pick the wrong shot very often, does he, Wilstrup? When you think about it. No, very, very rarely. It's great awareness. Yeah, it's good for McLobbin. He has shown great character because he was run ragged in the first game and a half. And he's six. fought back superbly well.
That's ridiculous line hitting. Oh, oh dear. He's only lollipopped it onto the front wall into that front left hand corner. James Wilson's practically got his chin on the front wall. <laughs> it's a brilliant lollipop, <laughs> though. <laughs> Greg Lovin, unfortunately, forcing that volley boast into the tin. Gave it his all in this match. He made a really good fight of it. But in the end, it was the accuracy of James Wallstrop who saw him through winning that last game, 11-8. So a three-love win for the marksman. It's intriguing, isn't it? Because it's been a massive break for all the women players on the PSA Tour. Five, so, uh, at the beginning, she just seems to fall away ever so slightly as the tournament goes on. Yeah, it's like she overpeaks and she yeah. starts kind of second-guessing herself. She becomes very aware of what's going on. She's a deep thinker and she can... She's her own worst enemy, actually, when it comes to that. Yeah, I agree. Oh, that's good. It's very good. Perfect squash, tight. Straight length, five, loose ball, five. finished into Holly Norton. 11-6, game to Walili. Walili leads one game to love. You can show her movement and express herself through the movement, but you've got to think about what you're doing with the racket as well. Nice uh, touch. Three loves. It was a little bit light in the 12 o'clock start on Thursday, but it's got better and better. And that's why the squash has been so exciting as well. The combination yeah. of player matchups has been terrific, Five but work. it's not rocket science when you think of tournaments like Nantes here at TOC as well. Pakistan. Owalini running away with his second game. Interesting to see her heart rate down at 160. But because the rallies are so so short at the moment. Complete no. contrast. 10-1, game ball. Rima Walili's wearing the heart rate for the first time. I don't think Tarek's gone for the heart rate yet. No. Well, she, she just sort of beat the, the first to do it. Yeah, he's usually no. a few steps behind, isn't he? With 11-1, game to Walili. Walili leads two games to low. And out, one all. That's a great shot from El Walili. Threatening with the short ball and then sending it long. Got Kalina Omad. Known as Oop in Canada. Yeah, really good Seven boast one. by El Lili. It's not going to be one of those scenarios where she just comes out and plays for the World Championships. I mean, amazing for her, winning, it's coming, she's being <laughs> injured for that, winning the World Champs yeah. and having all that time off to, to do whatever. Incredible. Looking forward to seeing her playing, though, see where she's at. El Shabini, the warrior princess. I saw a touch below the line. Yeah, that one wasn't out. Oh. 
And out. He'd have used it, wouldn't he, to set it. What he needed to say if it was it. Eight match balls for Owilini to book herself into the third round. Down. There you go. Front left hand two. corner. Absolutely. We know she's so dangerous in all four love. corners, but 11, the front six, left hand 11, corner 1, 11, is quite prolific. A feel for Colleen Omar because she always gives 120% out there. But she's come up against the best player in the world, the number one. And she's gone down three love. The Peruvians on to the next ball. And then on the, on the flip of that, you see the slight hold with Elias' swing, certainly on the forehand there. So, Macon's having to, having to stop each time as he's pulled back to the tee, which is, over time, as we know, that's what does the damage. It's going to be really interesting to see how John Macon's going to make any head roads here. Reading it like the New York Times. Yeah, he's gone for the Seven, wrong shot. I mean, look how far up yeah. the court John making it. It's good strength around the middle. Slightly better. Nothing worse as a player as well. If you've got that uncertainty with your foot. Video referee is that he got the no let because he didn't hit him. But you, you just need to see the abbreviated yeah. swing. He doesn't take a proper swing through there. Eleven six game to Elias. Elias leads. One game to low. Well, quality finish. Good stuff from the number six seed. Yeah, good response from John Makin. Crowd starting to warm up nicely to this one as we hit 10 past six Saturday evening. Maybe that's, yeah, where, that's where David Evans can uh, earn his corn, as we say. <laughs> Because David Evans was one of the hardest yeah. players to read at the front of the court. His, his front court craft was, was up there with the very, yeah. very best. And on his day, he was actually the best during that period. Well, it's the injection of pace from Joel Makin. That's oh, better. He's on too early. He's hit it early. That's exactly yeah. what we're talking about. Aggressive movement onto the ball, takes it early. That then forces Elias to move quickly. Such a fantastic mover on the squash court, Diego Elias. He's so rhythmic, so smooth. We discussed it with a little bit uh, Ali, with uh, Ali Farag. And it's that kind of Jantia-esque yes. style of movement. Your blood pressure has lowered, so that's also good. Very quick recovery there from Joel Makin. He was up at around 180 with the heart rates and in that kind of short uh, short break, he went down to about 150 beats a minute. That's extremely uh, impressive. There it is. 11-7, game to Macon. Whether he can ask Macon to accelerate and deaccelerate time and time again or not. Good pressure again from Diego Elias. 4-2. Terrific work into that front left corner. He's 
That's unbelievable. <laughs> well, he just oh, couldn't get the wheels so going. Good. Here's the initial slips. Good counter drop. Slips, tries to, tries his best to get up. Then I think it'll flip. If he can just be, when it's on, be severe. That's terrific length. He's got the cross court width there. And out 10 9, game ball. Wonderful change of pace from Elias. And the ball was to the left. The movement of making wasn't ideal. Yep. So common sense deems a let. Oh, it's a, bit, it's a big error. That's a massive error. 11 9, That's a gift for Elias. He shakes his head. He knows how lucky he is Two games to, to come through that. Played so well. What a finish. Well, the crowd have gone absolutely bonkers, and rightly so. Terrific touch. I mean, it had to roll as well because Elias was there. Well, he was not doing too much work. Still trying to close this game yeah. out. Yeah, he just nailed it, PJ. Yeah. Look what he did on his return to serve. That's where he's got to be careful because, obviously, Elias, given half a chance, will, he'll still push. Diego Elias. And out for nine. to Macon. Impressive stuff from Joel Macon. 11-6, game for Macon, two games all. One, three. I think there's still a bit of life in the Peruvian yet. Do you? Yes, I certainly do. I still think making's going to come through, but I don't think this is all going to be... Down. Yeah. I don't know. I think Six it's all he could do to hold on to his racket just now and not smack it into the sidewall. <laughs> oh, he's got it's it. Play. Oh, and he's looking out to his corner. Four six. Brilliant. Too risky to go cross court from that position. Six ten. Still. Stroke two, making. He's it's got be a no He's got it. The ball loose. Oh, it's a big win. Huge win. You can see the relief there for John making. Six eleven, eleven seven, nine eleven, eleven six, eleven seven. 
Well, a standing ovation here from the crowd at Grand Central Station for a quality 79-minute match. Left box. Well, Emily Whitlock Five, has got a oh. medium bear, and Lee Drew can just be annoying bear. <laughs> Starting to work your way into this. Three, six. She'll be here with her coach, Father Phil Whitlock. Travels. So putting it up there is just. You're itching for disappointment because of the variation of Amanda Silby's volley. And the damage done, the damage done there by the volley. She takes it in short. Emily Whitlock decides to counter. So not on the glass court. It's really starting to move up the ranking. She got player of the month last month. Mm, two months running. Two months running, should I say. So. Ten, three, game ball. She's got a massive potential as well, Sabrina. Five game balls, though, still for Sobi. Pretty comprehensive first game for the lefty. Down. There we go. Eleven so the rules of approval. This very partisan Sobe crowd here one game in America. Southpaw Sobi, the USA number one. Clamping down early doors. Not up. Two love. Hand out one three. Quite a large home advantage for Amanda Sobey, but also the fact that she's unrelenting with her shot work. She's hitting all four corners. Very heavy forehand, as we know. She's moving well as well. So Sobey, when she's moving well, serious contender for taking down the major players in the world. currently doesn't actually represent any country. Left. She's representing the world. Left box. She's rudderless. She has a thing for differentiating between when her dad's coaching her and her dad is her dad, so at home she'll call him dad and on court she calls him Phil. And out one five. Kind of a Whitlock, Whitlock though has gotten more. High. Oh, she's actually gone high to low. So we've seen that a few times. Yeah, gone but for that's the winner. Awesome. High to low works yeah. very well. Yeah. This is very good play. Oh, she's got a bit of an applause. And out from ten three game ball. From Phil seven. 
Game balls for a 2-1 lead for Sobi. Oh, it's a great pick-up. Up. Thank a beautiful you. Beautiful pick-up, full stretch. Hand out, 14, game ball. So a bit more applause, which is good to hear, because now we've got more squash to come. So be leads two games there. to one. Acknowledging. Showing her level. Why she has had such a good yeah. ranking previously and trying to move back up there again. Again. Oh, oh well played. She's mixing the paces cleverly. Low hop, sorry, I should Five, have three. charged over. I'm just getting so into this that and Emily Whitlock, Emily Whitlock, therefore, using different heights. You see the Sobe family, the father talking to the brother there. You see slight panic. There's no panic on that cross court, Nick. Didn't find the side wall. And out for... She's got her, she's got her, she's got her. One of the most exciting rallies in so many. Hasn't been that lengthy a rally between these girls throughout the whole match, but that was and brilliant. So much court coverage, seven. actually. You know, our execution is great, but the simplicity of the lift when she's in trouble out of the front, constantly looking for the volley and taking the pace off completely when she's taking the ball in on the drop. Oh. Oh, wow, look at that there you shot. Go. Touch. Oh, my goodness me, that's brilliant. It's brilliant. The crowd have to enjoy that. It's brilliant. Amanda Sobe looks Ten back at the corner, literally holds her hands out. She's like, What do I do here? I can't read her. She looks shell shocked. She was two love up within 18 minutes. And now there's two game balls for this to go into a fifth game. Oh my goodness, she's done it, it's brilliant. Emily Whitlock has played off her rocker. Two games off. All credit to her as well. Yeah, but I wonder did this burst the bubble. from Sobi. Beautiful falling length. More importantly, she's got three match balls to cause a massive upset here in New York. Possibility of taking down the number seven seed from the US of A. Oh, she's done it. 
She's done it. That's unbelievable from Emily Whitlock, and rightly so. Unbelievable, unbelievable. She's come back from two games to love down, was completely blown away. She's produced a brilliant match. Ashling. <laughs> Ashling stunned. I am absolutely stunned. I'm actually looking at the outpouring of emotion. Massive. 5-1 yeah. in the head-to-heads, 44 minutes in duration is the average match time, and I don't think today is going to be any different. I think Shibagi will come out and inject such a pace. One love. Tidy work into the front right corner. It's trademark from um, Ryan Koskelly. And out, 7-5. It's looked pretty solid from El Shabagi so far. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's not really had to do that much, but what he's doing, he's doing quite well, quite simple. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Without being Ten spectacular, he's ball. now five game balls up in this first. Yeah. Down. Well, the error from Kaskeli. Seven-five game to Shurbagi. Shurbagi leads one game to love. We went for that boast. What we are seeing here, Drew Boy, something that we've spoke about oh. this week. It's a good pick up. El Shibagi, what he's doing nicely is a lot of the emphasis in the modern game has been put on sheer pace, power and aggression, which El Shibagi has in abundance. But for me, when he plays his best squash is when we see more variations and of height and paces two. within that kind of range. Intrigued at the evolution of El Shibagi over the next 12 months because obviously none of us get any younger. And I reckon he's going to start really focusing on, on the accuracy side as well as those variations in well, his squash. It's, yeah, it's common knowledge that he's been doing a lot of work with Rodney Martin. Yeah, and you're going to be accurate then, aren't you? It's all about the technique with, and with the ball striking. Said, yeah, however, Rodney and uh, Mohamed haven't really spoken too much about the actual swing. Actually, as soon as this tournament's done, I've got a feeling that Rod's going to want to get in and start to really start to make those changes now. So, as you say, later in the season, kind of summer periods, that will be cemented in and he'll be ready to go. Watch his space. Forehand drop there from Kaskelli. It's an area of the court that he's worked on very hard with uh, Mick Roberts up at West Hartford Golf Club. Yeah. Of course, it's four game balls for El Shabagi. Well, again, yeah. it's right on cue there, Drew Boy. It's been a battle of the left-hand side walls. And at the moment, it's Mohamed El Shabagi that's coming out on top. Yeah, Good work again. High-quality stuff from the beast of Alexandria. That's Good lovely work. touch. It's lovely touch. Left. Too Played low. that a few times. An interesting follow through there. Well, it'd be a nice touch, wouldn't it? it certainly would. Nice way to finish well, off. 
He's not finished yet, though. 5-10, match ball. Trouble. Oh, it's gone out. Well, Mohamed El Shabagi safely through. Ryan Koskelly done and dusted here. He can be proud of what he's done with his squash. He'll get a standing ovation, I'm sure. He'll have some fine, uh, fond memories of this tournament. 28 minutes, Mohamed El Shabagi winning three love against Ryan Koskelly. But that sort of shows you why, that's why I'm retiring, because I, that's just unbelievable pace. And I, I know the stuff I've got to do to, to keep up with someone like him, just to have a chance to compete with him. So I did get him once, so I'll, I'll take that. And uh, I had some good wins over my career, and, and unfortunately it's coming to end. I just I lost a bit of you know, passion for it. Um, but just a few huge thank yous uh, to my wife. Um, best support I've ever had. Um, she's the best person I've ever met. Um, supported me all through my career. Uh, Even when I come home grumpy and bad mood after losing to guys like this, um, she still, you know, always supported me, ne never gave me any trouble if I wanted to travel and, and play tournaments. And, you know, we've got a beautiful little girl now, Sophia. Um, <laughs> um, to all, everyone who came out to watch me and support me over my career, thanks so much. I've got so many guys that, I've played squash with it all around New York. They're all here. Got so many friends, um, all my best friends here, family. Um, huge thank you to Rob Owen and his wife for looking after me in England when I traveled through the UK and uh, through the Middle East. Um, you know, they're, they're like a second family to me. Um, obviously my wife, I've already mentioned her about 20 times. She's beautiful. Um, the biggest thank you, um, Rod Martin. He brought me over when I was 20 years old. I think I had I think I had a pair of board shorts and a, and a hoodie in the min, min, middle of winter. So he's like, what the hell are you doing? It's minus 10 out here, like you've got board shorts on. I was like, oh, I'm from Australia, mate, come on. Like, um, so he, I, I mean, I, it's unbelievable the things he's done for me. Um, just knowing the squash, one of the best coaches in the world. He's, you know, he's bought me clothes when I've had no warm clothes at the start. He's, he's let me live in his house for three, four, five years. All the boys that, you know, we train with, he's... It's just unbelievable heart. Um, so uh, I owe this serving to him. Um, thanks. It's all right, Ashling, we found a replacement. Oh, good, who's that? The man above. Unbelievable snap. And out seven nine. That's good. It's nice control on the volley drop. Costly error Gay from Grayson. Rosner, Rosner leads. One game to love. Someone Rosner will be fairly happy with that. Solid from the German. Oh. 
Again, that powerful hitting from Rosner at the start of this second game. Yeah, but it's the mix Down. that's doing the damage. The mix of pace with the, the softness of the drop. And no matter what, how quick Campbell Grayson mo can move and what... Yeah, such a powerful hit from Simo Rosner. Really did wind up and just and unleashed yeah. this drive. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh. Oh. I mean, so far up the court there. Loves the oh volley. Oh, my goodness. Again, loves that forehand. Um, All about the volley yeah. for Simon Rosner. Yeah, court, court service, please. Up 190 beats per minute as he tries to close this one out. I thought that was going to be it, that shot. Two, came to Rosner. He'll be Rosner happy with that, Simon Rosner. Started well and then carried it on right the way through. Well, he's absolutely yeah. flying around the court here. The Paderborn tree chopper. 7-1. Well, if anyone's going to do it, Campbell Grayson is. He loves a five-setter. You'll have to tell me how it goes. <laughs> Well, again, Rosner up in his favourite position three. in front of Grayson on the volley. Yes. Because in lots of places it's a negative, isn't it? It's like a time-wasting thing when you do a slow clap. Oh, right. But then that doesn't go into a crescendo. Oh. And out, 9-4. Well, that Grayson. was certainly appreciated by yeah. the super fan. Was struggling, Grayson. It's all coming from the voice of one person, but it's great to have such a fan in the audience. <laughs> and it isn't Nicky Muller, I can no. confirm that. Six match balls for Rosny. <laughs> oh, he's fanned it in. Of course, it's a volley. <laughs> of course, he's finished it with a volley, but he's shown off there with the fanned volley on the forehand. Job done for the 2018 champion. What a finish. Spectacular stuff from Rosner.